I'm going to talk about how you can resize an image. And in this video, I am simply loading an image into the program, resizing it, and then saving it. Okay, let's take a look at the resize method. We cannot uh, use a method in the image or bitmap class to resize our image because they don't exist. We have to kind of write our own logic. And you can easily change the return type in the accepted image type to bitmap. I've decided to use image because I have to, it uh, lets me do less casting. If you want this to be an extension method, just add this here and put this method in a static non-generic class and it will look nice. Okay, so this resize method accepts an image. This will be the image that is to be resized, so the source and then the new size of the image that is to be outputted. The output is returned in the method. Okay, so let's create a drawing surface, something to draw to our new image really. And it's going to say new uh, bitmap and then the uh, new size dot width, new size dot height. You can just pass in the size for some reason. I've wrapped the graphics object declaration in a using statement just to make it look neat. You want to pass in the drawing surface, the uh, new image into the from image method of the graphics uh, object class. You're going to have to cast your image to bitmap. So this new image is a drawing surface for the graphics object. The graphics objects always need something to draw to, whether it be a window or an image. I can't think of anything else. We are going to use the new image created to draw to. And finally, we're going to use the draw image method to draw to the drawing surface. And we're going to draw the image that is passed in, our old image, the source, to the new image. And we need to create a rectangle to specify the area in which the image is copied to the new image. So the old image is copied to the new image at this specified rectangle. We're going to draw it at point zero zero, and we're going to draw it using the new size. Then we're going to return the image, the new image. I'm simply using an open file dialog to open the file to be resized and I'm not going to put it in a using block like I usually do because it will generate a try catch finally set in the intermediate code and I already have try catch logic and it would just be doubling up and be unnecessary. Anyhow, you notice that I'm wrapping everything in a try catch. It's because pretty much every method that I've used in this program can possibly raise an exception. You may want to actually implement a full try catch finally block in your resize image method to properly dispose of objects when an exception occurs. So if you want to know how I've opened the file and saved it and whatnot, just continue watching. Otherwise, don't. I'm using the bitmap from file method to open the file by file name and load it into memory. So I've got my memory object here, image. Then I'm going to assign image with itself, just resized using a resize image method. And then I'm going to save the image to the file name saved.bitmap, which will save into the debug directory. I'm going to save it as a bitmap. Then I'm going to open up the file in the default image viewing program.